Hello, I'm going to do a little bit of an intro to the permissions and users system in WordPress so that you can configure your users, um, administrators, etc. With the, with the correct permissions. So the guy like logged in here is a, an administrator and he's got all, um, all the permissions, he can see everything. Um, and we've got a users list here. So this is me logged in. I've got a user called Bob who's just an editor and these were imported actually from um, from the from the temporary WordPress site and they've come in as, as subscribers as it as it stands. Those we, we don't think we're gonna actually use that level of permission. So if we look at Bob um, adding a new user um, you can just add there and fill out the fields and have it have it send them an email um, automatically. Uh, so you can fill in various various uh, properties about the user, but these are the this is the this is the key uh, information. So we've got uh, the, the main ones that we we're likely to use here are administrator and editor. So administrators can do various things. Uh, to do with the kind of overall configuration of the site. Editors can add and edit content. Separately to that, we have a transcription uh, capability. So without this ticked, uh, Bob can't see any of the transcription functionality. So if we jump over to, to, to Bob's admin view, in a, in a separate tab here. This is what this is what Bob sees. So as you can see, he's just an editor, so he's got fewer options, um, which is good for users who may be overwhelmed um, with uh, with full administrator access. They can edit their own profile, and they can basically access the things that are just editor level capabilities. And there's no transcriptions here. Uh, editor users can um, approve comments. So there's some there's some a comment down here, which was imported actually as well as into this test database, um, and this user can kind of unapprove uh, or edit visitor submitted comments, but this comment is on a transcription. So as you can see, there's no there's no edit capability here. So if we wanted to allow Bob, for instance, to manage and, and edit transcription related content. Uh, we go back to our administrator user, we tick the manage transcriptions and we'll, we'll basically give Bob the, uh, the transcription edit capability. And now if I refresh this page, you'll see we've got the, all the transcription functionalities come in and additionally he can, he can now approve or reject um, comments on transcriptions as well as comments on on, uh, on on normal blog posts. Thank you. Just about sums it up I think.